So now I can grab and move and make it word locked uh, by disabling the solver. But the problem is there is no way to re-enable the solver to make it make the toolbar follow me again. Uh, so I think I'm gonna need a, a pin button to toggle the solver state. So I just created my toolbar as a prefab. Um, then I want to add a new button here. Um, so MRTK also has this uh, HoloLens 2 toggle button. Uh, so it has kind of two different uh, state, the visual state, to indicate uh, the toggle state. Um, so I'm going to use this button and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller uh, as a kind of pin button and I'm going to replace the uh, icon and disable the text for now because so I think icon should be enough to communicate So pin, so there should be an icon for pin here. Yep. So now I just added that pin button on the side. And if I click play, So as you can see, it has a, this kind of visualization for toggle state. You can use this for um, enabling and disabling the server, the radio view server. Radio view server is on this top of this toolbar object. And so using the script, uh, we can just enable and disable this radio view um, to kind of toggle that the tag along behavior um, in MRTK if you search follow uh, there's a, a script called follow me toggle um, so this is a quite simple script that uh, just uh, searches radio view and enable and disable uh, basically toggling the state um, so I think that we can use this script to in this um, the pin button so I just uh, drag and drop uh, assign this follow me toggle script on this top of the toolbar object and inside this pin button <coughs> toggle button and in this uh, on click event um, I think you can just drag and drop toolbar and under this follow me toggle script um, there's a function called uh, toggle follow me behavior so I'm calling this function so so whenever I clicked press this uh, pin button it should be toggling the radio view uh, behavior so now so by default radio view is enabled and when I press this pin button so now as you can see, it's not following me. Radio view is disabled. Uh, we can also check in the hierarchy. So if I click this toolbar, so as you can see, radio view is disabled. And when I press this again, yeah, now radio view is enabled. So it's following me. It's locked. And it follows me. And, and also because we have added this grab behavior, so when I grab and move, now the radio view is disabled, so it's locked. But the problem is now the toggle button does not represent uh, proper states. Now 
now it is reversed um, so so whenever I grab and disable the radio view script I think a toggle button should be also um, triggered to show proper toggle state to change this uh, toggle state uh, the visual state of this toggle button uh, I think we should go back to this backplate quad the manipulation handler um, so uh, in, in this manipulation handler uh, on manipulation started we uh, disable uh, this radio view uh, here I think we're gonna add an additional action to disable I mean to enable the toggle visualization state of that toggle button so let's drag and drop the toggle button and the visual state is controlled by this interactable object and let's see the toggle state um, set toggled I think this is it um, so let's set toggled as true because uh, be because this is a pin button and when the pin button is activated it means it is locked uh, the toolbar is word locked and the radio view is disabled so it's the opposite so let's go back and play so when I grab the plate then now the pin button is highlighted and that means the toolbar is locked, word locked and let's unpin now it follows me and when I grab grab and move and it's locked and also let me try with that just toggle button only so it follows me then when I press and it is locked yep it's not following me when I unpin yeah it follows me so yeah um, the word locking is working it works with both pin button and this grabbing behavior so so yeah basically this grabbing plate um, is the same as pressing the pin button uh, when the radio view is activated so by grabbing and moving it automatically pins this toolbar in specific location then I can um, interact with the some target object with more <coughs> clear focus and when I want to use this toolbar again and make it follow me then I can just use this pin button to unpin and like this so whenever I go wherever I go it follows me again so that I can easily access